In the upcoming clip of Noam Chomsky, he talks about the importance of teaching history. Chomsky has emphasized the importance of critical thinking and questioning authority. Studying history allows individuals to analyze past narratives, understand how power structures operate, and challenge dominant narratives. This empowers them to become informed citizens and engage critically with the present. He believes that understanding the past is essential for comprehending the present. By studying historical events, trends, and power dynamics, individuals can gain context for current events and make informed decisions about the future. Now off to this wonderful clip of Chomsky, followed up with his thoughts on the importance of having well-informed citizenry and its role in social justice and human rights. Teachers are not allowed to teach American history. Uh, the argument is it's divisive. It makes some people feel uncomfortable. Yeah, that's what history is. History isn't in uh, nice fairy tales. It's the truth of what, what happened in the society and why the society is the way it is today. And those who are basically fascist in mentality don't want it taught. So they understand why history is important and we should understand too. What they're trying to ban is what we ought to try to know. The United States has had 400 years of uh, brutal harsh treatment of Afro-Americans, a couple hundred years of sheer slavery, followed by a period which was scholars sometimes call slavery by another name, the Jim Crow period, uh, up until the 1960s, it's not that far back, uh, federal housing uh, banned blacks. People, black workers couldn't, couldn't own a house and be just, and it comes right up to today. Well, that's a core part of American history. Uh, the Republican Party is trying to ban it. They don't want you to know that because it's divisive. Uh, that's one example. What about indigenous history? I mean, this we, there was a rich, complex indigenous society before the white colonists came. They, we wiped it out. It's almost a, it's a total genocide. Well, we should learn about that. That's our history. Uh, we want to know uh, about contemporary history. So take, say, Kennedy again. Uh, Kennedy uh, ra radically escalated the war in Vietnam. It led to a war in which millions of people were killed and uh, three countries, Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, were practically destroyed. Should we know something about that? Yeah, I think so. We want to know our position in the world, how the world looks at us, why they do. We should know about those things. Oh, you could just say, well, let's just repeat patriotic slogans and forget about everything. Okay, that's a possibility. Or we could try to understand ourselves who we are, why we are this way, how we got this way, what we can do to change it, what we can do to make a better world. Those are two choices. You make your own. Chomsky emphasizes learning from past injustices and mistakes to avoid repeating them. Studying historical atrocities and struggles for social justice can inspire individuals to advocate for positive change and strive for a more just society. Examining diverse historical experiences can foster empathy and understanding across cultures and social groups. This can combat prejudice and promote tolerance and respect for human rights. Chomsky believes a well-informed citizenry is vital for a functioning democracy. Studying history can equip individuals with the knowledge and critical thinking skills necessary to participate actively in civic life and hold their leaders accountable. Chomsky argues that historical awareness can help individuals resist manipulation and propaganda. By understanding how information has been used and misused in the past, individuals can be more discerning of information presented in the present. I hope you liked the video and give the channel a subscribe. Now take care and bye-bye.